I thought today was a good, uh, you know, it was a good ending. Uh, we went out. Basically, our, our objective today was to go out and uh, clean up, uh, clean up some uh, little things here and there in the, from the spring game. Uh, a lot of energy out there today. That was good. Um, some some great focus out there today. But uh, overall, just big picture for the spring. I think there's a lot of progress made uh, in a lot of different spots. Uh, we certainly aren't anywhere near where we need to be. Uh, but taking into consideration the, just the newness of the offenses and the defenses, I feel like we ended in, in a place that's about where we thought we'd be. So that's been a good thing. When you looked at the video from Saturday, anything catch your eye? Right? No, I think it was pretty much what I, what I uh, said after the game. You know, there were some good things. There were some inconsistencies there uh, that, uh, again, that's what we went back to address this morning. Uh, but, uh, you know, the effort was really good. Uh, the kids had fun. Uh, they tried to play physical football, and um, you know, again, uh, just overall inconsistency, you know, has, has really been the message, uh, you know, this, this, you know, uh, during the spring. So, uh, pleased with some things, but a long way to go. Gene, just talk about the importance of between now and August. Well. You know, you hate to say that this is the most important time of the year, but certainly uh, what happens in the next three months is very critical to, you know, what, uh, you know, how your football team is, is formed. And, you know, these guys have summer workouts uh, that, uh, you know, bond your team. Uh, they've got a lot of work ahead of them. So they got to come in on their own and, and do some film work. They've got to come in on their own. And, uh, you know, they got to be very motivated, you know, to, again, uh, every guy try to make make themselves a better football player without the coaches around. And you've got to be self-motivated to do that. So uh, very critical time both in the weight room and conditioning, but also in them trying to get better as football players on their own and spending time doing that. They had a lot of them that played, but how much did you see the quarterbacks as a group improve from, from day one to, to finish the spring? Well, you know, I think we made some progress. I don't think there's any question about that. We, uh, again, the inconsistencies of what we uh, of what we have done pretty much on a day-in, day-out basis, that doesn't mean there hasn't been some good days. But, you know, we may have two or three really good days followed by, you know, a not-so-good uh, day uh, productivity-wise. So, uh, again, I think that position has gained some ground, no question, but, uh, again, the inconsistencies are what we have, we have to iron out. Was that to be expected with all, with all the new stuff? Uh, I, I don't want to say that we expect that. Uh, it doesn't surprise us, you know, given the circumstances. But, uh, you know, again, that's the quarterback position. You have to eliminate those inconsistencies. What things did you have to clean up today specifically? Uh, you know, just some ball handling uh, issues, some reads, uh, some techniques mainly, you know, uh, whether it be offensive linemen with, you know, footwork technique or uh, defensive, you know, defensive linemen, uh, secondary or linebacker guys with run fits and alignments, uh, just some things of that nature. Defensive line is one of those spots where people talked about they're kind of moving forward and getting some pressure, doing some of the things that you'd like to see. To, you know, Saturday, a, a kind of good indication, especially from the defensive ends, that, that they've kind of bought into that. Well, again, I think that, you know, we, we're going to expect, you know, when you're in a 4-3, you got to have some you got to have some pressure from your front four. I mean, you don't want to feel like you have to blitz every time to get pressure. Uh, you know, so we, we've got some guys that I think have gotten better during the spring, no question about it. Uh, but we're going to rely on our front four, you know, a lot to, uh, you know, get some disruptions back there. So I think they've... Uh, I think they've gotten better, and again, they're not like they're they're not any different than anybody else. We have a long way to go. How good to get D Ford back to his old self out there? It's really good. It's really good to see D back and, and see him healthy. And he had a he had a really good spring, and he stayed healthy. Uh, I think he feels good. Again, this is going to be a very critical time for him, uh, conditioning in the weight room. Uh, you know, coming off that injury. So, uh, but, but he, uh, we have no reason to believe that he won't work extremely hard. He always does.